Hey there. Let's uh, take a look at the setup here because it's uh, really good to have the ability to see your club face at impact on your, I'd say wedges, this will work for wedges, uh, irons, and of course putting. Putting is super important as we all know. I'm trying to see what's going on. So I decided to just grab an old camera that I had, um, uh, Samsung, and uh, set it to uh, the, the frames per second is set to 60. Um, that's not a big deal. What you want to do is the uh, shutter speed. So I set it to 1 1,000th, um, which is what you can do in FSX um, from Foresight, uh, FSX 2020. So this is my setup. I've just got a couple of mics on uh, just to make it as far as I can. I've got my GC3. So this is almost turning it into a, like a GC quad for studying your putting and your wedges and things. And, hey, I'll just show you what it looks like. And uh, then I'll show you, uh, you can see my screen to get an idea of how cool this is. So here I am, I'm just going to hit a putt. i line it up. As you can see, pretty good. And you can see now the camera is set to see exactly where the impact is. So I can take that and take a look at it if I want. It'll slow it down. or if you're like me, you've got it, say, you've got your little swing video area, so you can grab it here. And you can take a look and analyze what you're doing. So all you do is you just pause it, bring this back here, and see where I'm hitting the ball very precisely on the face of the club. And the more you do, the more precise you can get with the uh, club impact and see what's going on. See if you're hitting the ball cleanly and get a good idea of exactly what the Putter's looking like when it's uh, coming across the ball. You can do it with chipping too. Grab a little wedge here. Here. And you can speed this up too. You can go faster if you want. I'm going to take that down off the screen here. So there we go. Again, yeah, it's just a normal camera um, off my Samsung phone. That's it. There we go. It'll be a little chip. So, and you just watch the camera too, get an idea of what's going on. You can even slow it down in the camera, but it gives you a good idea of how your um, what your face is looking like at impact. And again, you can uh, just go to your computer if you want later and uh, bring up your swing videos here. And you can get a better uh, um, viewer. This is just the one that's built into Windows. That way you can see more, more frames. And you can see right there, that's a pretty good view of, you know, how am I towing it? Am I healing it? That one looked like it came off the heel a bit. So you can improve your swing. Uh, you can grab three, four iron and... Give it a shot. The driver is not like it just depends on how hard you're swinging the driver. I've, I've gotten pretty good results, but you got to swing about four or five of them and catch the frame right at the right moment. And you'll get an idea. So, you know, do 50 swings if you want, because it's going to save them all in your video area. And then you can analyze it later. So just a, a neat idea for taking your cameras and just not putting them for side facing um, and uh, and behind you, which you can easily do, of course. I use IV Cam uh, for my two cameras, and uh, it's cheap; doesn't cost anything. And uh, well, I wanted to get the GC Quad and upgrade from the GC3, and they said even with a trade-in, I'd have to pay another 17 grand. So I thought I think I'm okay with looking at my club face and uh, just setting this up, which takes about uh, oh, three minutes to do. If you have any questions, just leave a uh, leave a question for me, and I'll, I'll let you know. Anything you want to know about my setup? Okay, thanks a lot.